Professor Stephen Hawking dedicated much of his career to unraveling the mysteries of black holes, and now the final chapter of his research is on lying. Even after his death, his papers are still coming out. His latest paper was released in October 2019, and it argues that black holes may be covered in soft hair. First, let's understand what black hole is. In his general theory of relativity, Albert Einstein was the first to suggest that our universe contains such strange, dense, massive objects. And so black holes emerge from Einstein's equations of general relativity as a natural consequence of the death and collapse of massive stars, causing a supernova or an exploding star that blasts part of it into space. And that's how they formed in the early universe. Don't let the name fool you. A black hole ain't so black and not a hole. It's a region in space where the pulling force of gravity is so strong and extreme enough to prevent the escape of even the fastest moving particles. Light can't break free. Black holes can't be seen because strong gravity pulls all the light into the middle. We only see the effects they have on the space around them. And scientists can see the effects of a strong gravity on the stars and gases around them. Even if they're mysterious and complex, when it comes to their characteristics, they become simple objects. They can be fully characterized by only three quantities. Their mass, angular momentum means how fast they spin, and their electric charge. Now, to the hair part. Basically, hair is a metaphor for the information that is kept in the black hole, but cannot be seen by observers outside the black hole. In other words, the stuff that gets left behind when objects fall into the black hole. According to quantum mechanics, physical information is never lost, but according to general relativity and no hair theorem, information which enters a black hole is lost forever. This contradiction known as black hole information paradox. First, let's talk information. So typically, the information we talk about is visible to the naked eye. For example, this kind of information tells us that this orange is round, orange, and shiny. But when physicists talk information, they're on about the specific state of every single particle. Quantum information means all the particles that makes up that orange, like their mass, position, and spin. And every other object in the universe have a different and unique quantum properties. So again, according to quantum mechanics, information cannot be destroyed. It can be changed into different forms, but never destroyed. You can change atoms, crush them together, the quantum wave function that describes them must always be preserved. Its quantum information is still out there. For example, when an orange falls into a black hole, it vanishes into the void, and all its distinctive information get lost. And if that what happens, it violates the fundamental laws of physics as we know. But according to this theory, the information is out of sight, but it doesn't mean it's lost. It might still exist in the mysterious void of the black hole. But others suggest that that information doesn't fall into the black hole. The quantum information preserves on the surface of the black hole. Over vast periods of time, Hawking realized black holes have temperature. They would evaporate away until there was nothing left, releasing their mass and energy back into the universe. And this is unsurprisingly known as Hawking radiation. This idea created a paradox. The information about what went into the black hole is preserved by time dilation. But with the mass itself of the black hole evaporating, eventually it will completely disappear. And then, where does our information go? That information which can't be destroyed. In these questions, are so far from answered. Physicists always come up with solutions and theories, but have yet to reach consensus on any one of proposed 
solutions. It is a tribute to Hawking's unique genius that they continue to argue about the black hole information paradox so many decades after his work first suggested it.